Okey dokey, monarchs of the internet. Today I'm going to be making that little intro card, I guess. Uh, I guess that's what I'm going to call it. Intro card um, at the front of the video that you just saw. And I know a lot of channels do an intro, but it's like a video or a scroll or something. But I thought it would be nice to have just a short little thing at the beginning. Uh, just uh, something that will let the viewers know that hey, like this is my video, but not something so long that it's cumbersome Because sometimes I feel like they get a little bit cumbersome and a little dramatic So I just wanted something really simple and I did try to make a card before this um, as you can see on the left 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 hand side um, but I made it on my phone and it just the colors weren't exactly correct and I didn't like the font and it didn't really match with my tutorial queen theme so as you can see above the disclaimer I actually used a website called color hex I believe I will verify that um, it's a website called color hex and if you put in a, sp a specific color it'll show you matches um, for that color um so it'll show you the best uh, mathematical um coupling of different colors and so i did that with my green and my purple and then my red um i think i might have made the red a touch darker but yes so definitely for the green and purple because we were having a hard time trying to make the green and the purple look good together um without being super bright so i just put all of my colors up in the upper right hand corner in the photo just for reference so i can easily color pick later and as you can see i spent a long time trying to find a font i really wanted kind of an old english theme because tutorial queen um so i'm really trying to go with that theme and it was really hard to try and find something that was um old age ish but um still mostly readable <laughs> So usually what you want to do when you have text, especially really text heavy things, is you want to try to have only the biggest font, like something crazy. Like sometimes people do really crazy fonts for the body of the text and usually that's not a good option. Um, here I'm trying what I did on the other end card and doing um, just capital letters, but it didn't quite look right in this situation. Um, so that's what I'm trying to do right now is I'm trying to decide what font I want for the more of the body of the text rather than just the header. But what I ultimately decided to do was to just keep the same font throughout. And I decided to do this because the downside to this is that it's a little bit overwhelming and it's a little bit too, it's harder to read. However, that wasn't necessarily <laughs> a objection in this case because I didn't really want people it's not something it's something that's more just supposed to pop up it's not something that you're actually uh, supposed to read the whole way through it's more of just a um, kind of general disclaimer like hey I don't know if I needed to really do this, but I thought it would be fun at least just to do like, hey, like, I don't know what I'm doing. Um, and also like if people couldn't come back and just say like, hey, like I took your advice and it went horribly wrong. Well, I just told you, I don't know what I'm doing. Didn't you read the disclaimer? Um, but the old English font is just fine to read. It just takes a couple seconds. Um, but it's not something that needs to be super aesthetically pleasing because most people aren't going to read the entire thing. It's only going to come up for a few seconds as kind of just an intro card, just kind of introduce you to my channel and just to let you know like, hey, like this is my video. Um, if you didn't already see that it was me um, or didn't know who I was before, or I know sometimes I watch channels and I start to learn them, but sometimes I don't realize that I'm watching the same people's videos. And so with this, it's been, it's kind of like, like, oh, I've seen this before, and there's kind of a familiar familiarity-ishness. Well, that's not a word. There's a familiar famil familiarity familiarity about it, and that can really help with um, like just people liking you. And it, when something is familiar, people tend to like it more. Um, that's a psychological principle for you and you can trust me because i have a bachelor's in psychology um but yes 
So I just ended up putting in the same text that I had before, and here's another thing uh, with this text. So what you want to try and do with your text is you want to, usually you want to try and, you want it to have nice, okay, I was going to say you want it to have nice curves, but you, you want it to have nice, um, usually you want to start at the top and have it smallest at the top and then be thickest in the middle and then go down to a point that's generally the most aesthetically pleasing sort of design, at least in my opinion, and you definitely want to have, because otherwise it's all like janky, so you kind of want it to all flow into each other and you want your eyes to be drawn to the top first, so you make that have lots of white space and big bold space and then, in this case it's black space, but same principle, white space, just um, empty space. So as you can see here, I am trying to make that nice shape between all of the different layers. And then finally, I get to do the fun part, the color picking part. And so now, because I have that photo up in the upper left, then I can just easily cherry pick and pick what I want. Yes, so that's just about it. That is how I made my photo, and here is a cat picture for you, give you a little bit of serotonin. That's another psychology principle, or chemical, or I don't know. We learned that in psychology class. So thank you so much for watching, and um, please watch another video, maybe? Thanks! Bye!